Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. Frank, you know I hate everyone. Who do you think I'm gonna tell? Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Hey, so... Uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too? See? We're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? I'm... I'm not. Just hanging with a friend here. A friend I don't know much about. Tell me, Frank. Seeing any girls lately? I don't know. Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? You, you got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. You shouldn't have opened my mouth. Thanks for... <laughs> telling me. Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I, uh, heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Money from what? Well, he's always had a few things going on. I help him out with some of them. Don't drown me in the details, Frank. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like, but I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. I've got a little job for you. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Y yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with him? Uh, he's an unreliable douchebag. No, this is the first time he's done this. The kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Yeah, of course, but what's in it for me? I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. Uh, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got expelled this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay with a bit of cash and the truck fixed. 
Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. I think I'd be back this soon. Well, here goes nothing. Better hurry. Up and get into the dorms. I should come hang around here during finals. Make everybody I should come hang around here during finals. Make everybody jealous. Max would have jumped on that photographer position. <laughs> Blackwell Academy. Uh. Conserving water since... Shh. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude. Why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks... really ridiculous. Hey, uh, Evan? As intelligent as you look right now, you can still see that bird from where I'm standing. I appreciate your concern, but I want to get this shot exactly right. And I've learned something about myself recently. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. For example, I've been trying to get the students and administration interested in forest fire prevention. That is kind of an odd topic to focus on. People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? Evan, you're pretty stuck up. Did you know that? It's fine. The first sign of greatness is people disliking you. Anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. <laughs> 